Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Submarines are known as the Silent Service and can project force for navies globally. The ability of certain submarines to break through the polar ice caps helps protect these regions from foreign submarine encroachment. The Turtle was the name given to the first submarine specially constructed and deployed for military objectives. It was invented in 1775 during the American Revolutionary War by American inventor David Bushnell. This circular oak and tar-covered vessel failed. Yet, it was a watershed moment in submarine warfare. Submarines use a system of ballast tanks to help them dive, surface, and retain neutral buoyancy. This is done by pumping seawater into or out of their ballast tanks. One can occasionally see a seawater mist around the submarine because of the pressure at which seawater is forced out of the ballast tanks. When the order dive dive is received, ship control begins the process. First, the conning tower's front and aft diving planes are set to dive. The hull apertures, including the torpedo tube doors, have been secured to ensure total watertight integrity. The trim and auxiliary tanks are then flooded to reduce the vessel's buoyancy. Meanwhile, the speed is slowed to reduce the influence of the bow wave. The officer of the deck directs the helmsman to steer the bow planes down, causing the ship to sink beneath the sea. The precise dive angle is determined by the interaction of forward motion and buoyancy of the ballast tanks. Once submarines must surface, some vessels are able to do so through thick polar ice caps. During the 2018 ice exercise, Ice X, for example, a team from the Undersea Warfighting Development Center Arctic Submarine Laboratory, UWDC-ASL, the University of Alaska Fairbanks, and Ukpivik Lupiat Corporation, UIC Science, witnessed the U.S. Navy's operational readiness in Arctic regions. This exercise necessitated substantial planning including pioneering surveys to evaluate and collect data on ice flows across the Beaufort Sea. Such work is critical to ensuring that surfacing submarines, such as the Seawolf-class Fast Attack Submarine USS Connecticut, the Los Angeles-class Fast Attack Submarine USS Hartford, and the Royal Navy's Hunter-Killer Submarine HMS Trenchant, can penetrate the icy Arctic surface. Site selection and ice analysis are critical for this, as the thickness, density, and homogeneity of the ice must be evaluated. On March 21st, 2018, the field party arrived at the surface site and their crew embedded sensors and other monitoring equipment within the ice. The obtained data was utilized to confirm and improve existing ice charting technologies and predictive models, which are crucial for strategic maneuvering beneath and through a powerful Arctic ice flow. Watching a massive naval vessel, such as a submarine, surface through polar ice is a thrilling experience. 
Submarines from the United States Navy use a meticulously calibrated method to surface through Arctic ice. Ice layered thicknesses are carefully assessed using mission-specific, data-driven analysis to locate a possibly viable surfacing site near the intended ice camp. The submarine then begins its ascent through the ice by adjusting its buoyancy via the ballast tanks. The shattering of the ice upon surfacing on an ice flow produces an instantly recognizable sound. The conning tower and emergency escape hatches are then manually cleansed of ice to restore visibility and maintain emergency egress capabilities, both of which are critical in this hostile environment. The choice to evacuate the submarine is strictly governed by criteria and depends on sea state, iceberg movement, and local meteorological conditions. It enables the crew to conduct research, emergency exercises, and liaison duties with the ice camp. No submarine would be complete without torpedoes. Torpedoes, self-propelled underwater weapons that detonate upon impact or proximity with hostile vessels, were initially used in the 19th century. In 1866, English engineer Robert Whitehead is credited with developing the first working propelled torpedo. By World War II, torpedoes had evolved into vital naval weapons, being launched from submarines, surface ships, and aircraft. Torpedoes with sophisticated propulsion and navigation systems may reach speeds of more than 65 knots and carry warheads weighing more than 650 pounds. They are particularly lethal in undersea warfare, capable of crippling or sinking warships, commercial boats, and submarines emphasizing their critical position in modern naval operations. However, these days, they are used more as anti-submarine weapons. During the ICE Exercise 2022, submarine test torpedoes are carefully recovered from beneath the Arctic sea ice. This recovery effort carried out by divers from the United States Coast Guard and the United States Navy's undersea construction team is a vital precaution to avoid environmental damage and the loss of expensive hardware. The recovery of these test torpedoes also enables post-exercise analysis and equipment evaluation, providing vital data on hardware performance, accuracy, and dependability under harsh conditions. Furthermore, it provides divers with essential, realistic training in harsh Arctic circumstances. Contributing to the Navy's overall operational preparedness and understanding of Arctic operations. Building torpedoes and loading them require extensive technical expertise. The assembly and loading of the U.S. Navy's Mark 48 heavyweight torpedo is a critical operation overseen by the personnel from the Coastal Systems Station's Dahlgren Division of the Naval Surface Warfare Center. The Mark 48 torpedo, a crucial weapon of America's submarine force, is meticulously manufactured step by step with checks to assure the integrity and performance of components, such as the propulsion system, guidance section, and high explosive payload. Once the heavyweight 3,400 pound torpedo has been assembled, it is carefully maneuvered onto a specialized loading cart and transferred to the attack submarine. 
The torpedo is then expertly put into one of the submarine's torpedo tubes, ready to augment the submarine's powerful offensive capability. Torpedoes must be tested, and decommissioned vessels are often used for this purpose. Torpedo deployment was critical for the Sink X, held in the Hawaiian Islands operating area during large-scale exercise, LSC-21, on August 15, 2021. A Mark 48 Advanced Capability Torpedo was launched by the USS Chicago, a fast attack submarine. This heavyweight torpedo, a workhorse of the US Navy, has a 650-pound high explosive warhead, a top speed of 55 knots, and an effective range of roughly 35,000 yards. It uses advanced sonar systems to lock onto its target, making it an effective anti-ship and anti-submarine weapon. Torpedoes have been a part of the armament of surface vessels for decades. These weapons are used mainly to attack submarines. Loading torpedoes, such as the Mark 46 lightweight anti-submarine torpedo, widely employed in rim pack exercises, requires unique procedures carried out by a professional crew, such as on a Royal Canadian Navy frigate like HMCS Winnipeg. Torpedoes are launched from these warships' torpedo tubes, which are normally quad launcher systems. A team of weapon systems technicians and engineers painstakingly prepares and inspects each torpedo to verify that it is fully operational, with its onboard sonar equipment and 98-pound warhead both functioning correctly. Torpedo launch systems, such as destroyers, frigates, and cruisers, are installed on surface ships. The Mark 32 Surface Vessel Torpedo Tubes, SVTT, may fire lightweight torpedoes such as the Mark 46, Mark 50, and Mark 54. These torpedoes, which can reach speeds of more than 40 knots and have warheads weighing more than 96 pounds, are designed to locate, track, and engage enemy submarines using advanced sonar sensors. This method involves the vessel's combat intelligence center calculating the position of the contacts, the fire control system selecting the firing solution, and trained soldiers carrying out the launch. Torpedoes deliver deep diving pinpoint strikes as part of layered defense strategies, increasing the operational versatility and capability of U.S. surface combatants. Submarines have been around for over a century and are highly advanced vessels. Using ballast tanks, these silent killers dive and remain submerged for months. Certain variants can surface through polar ice caps. One of their weapons is still the torpedo, which is used against ships, but mostly other submarines. Torpedoes are also used from surface vessels where they can detect and dive down to intercept and neutralize prowling enemy submarines. Without this weapon, modern naval vessels would be left with a massive ASW vacuum. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.